All right, I have something new to show you guys today. This is the Leap Motion. This thing is pretty cool. We're going to go ahead and take a look at it. This is a hand sensing uh, computer controller. It'll work with PC and Mac. It'll do all types of cool things, which we'll get into. I'm going to show uh, what comes in the box, and then I'm going to go ahead and get it set up, and we'll get into some uses for it. So in the box, you just get a little pamphlet with a little bit of informa information. And then you just get a little instruction card here. And then it just says to activate, go to leapmotion.com slash setup. It says the same uh, words right on the, on the unit. The unit's just a small device. It has a plug right there. And pretty much that's it. This will be laying on our desktop by our keyboard. Underneath our device, we just have our USB cord for it. So this will be plugged into the computer and plugged in to our USB cord and then we'll be able to use our hand to go ahead and control this thing. So it's pretty crazy. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get this set up. I might show a little bit here about the website so let me get it all going and then we'll keep going through and see what this thing can do. Wanted to show one more thing as I got this set up. I noticed as I took out the cords, we have two cords. One is a couple feet long here. And then we have another one that I'm going to fold in half. And it's twice as long. As you can see, it's folded in half. So they're the, actually the exact same cord. They both have the same uh, connection ends. One goes to USB, and the other end goes into the unit. So they gave you two cords. One's good for a laptop. One's good for a desktop. So just wanted to point that out. Going to go ahead and keep getting this set up. All right, so here we are at my web browser. I just hit enter to go to leapmotion.com setup. And as you can see here, get started with your Leap Motion controller. We're gonna go ahead and do the Windows download. See how long this takes. I'm gonna click just to run. So it's gonna download the uh, product, uh, the program. We're at 20%, this shouldn't take very long. And then we'll see what it tells me to do. While I'm waiting, I'm gonna go ahead and remove just the plastic cover off. So it's ready to go. And I've got my USB cord plugged into my computer, ready to plug this in. I'm just waiting to see what it tells me to do. So we're at 75% downloaded right now. So we'll see in a second here what happens with the program and how easy this is to install and start using. So we're at 100%, running security scan, and here we go. And welcome to Leap Motion. Setup Manager will guide you through. Just click Next. Got to accept this agreement like in all installation things. Uh, just click the folder you want. And airspace and OS interactive features not available on XP Vista Server 2008. This will only install Leap, Coast, Leap Motion Core services. So I wonder what that means. It said something about Vista. It doesn't have some features it just said. I'm not exactly sure what features it was talking about, but it said it's going to go ahead and install it anyway. So we'll see uh, what, what we can do with this. My computer is a good computer. I've got a Windows Vista 64-bit, um, 3.3 gigahertz uh, quad core, 8 gigabytes of RAM. You know, it's a good computer, so it can definitely run this without any problem. And I'm gonna click. Uh, it's creating desktop shortcuts, and I'm gonna let it launch. So now it's launching the program, or it should be. I don't see it starting to launch, so I'm going to find Leap Motion, and I don't see it on my desktop yet either, which is odd because I told it to create a desktop uh, shortcut. So I'm not sure where my Leap Motion went. I'm going to go into my folders here, I guess, and I'm going to go to Leap Motion Control Panel. And now in here, we're going to have to do a uh, orientation, and we'll do a calibrate device, but it hasn't even told me to plug it in yet. So I'm going to go ahead and plug it in also and see if we can get that going. Now it's going to install the driver software and make sure it's all connected. Also probably want to check for updates for your program. Go ahead and do that real quick. It's updating firmware. Please leave your mo motion controller plugged in. And now I got a green light showing it's turned on. Firmware update complete. You may need to unplug it and plug it back in. So I'll go ahead and do that.
and I'm gonna go to the diagnostic visualer. Now, as you can see, this is what the program lets you do. Check this out. It sees my finger. One, two, three, four fingers, and my thumb over here. Put this hand up. Uh, my right hand's more coordinated. <laughs> So now we have the tips of our finger controlling stuff. You can point to stuff. You can do all types of stuff. I'll write, write my name here if I can do it good. <laughs> Maybe I should do it in cursive. <laughs> it's not the easiest. Uh, <laughs> it's not the easiest to write. You know, you're going to have to get used to that, but it'll take some time. But this is. Uh, it knows where your hand is in this field of view. This is a pretty big field of view. I've got the leap motion directly in the center of the monitor here. And I'm able to pretty much get everywhere. This is a very big view. So now that you can see what this does and how we installed it, let's go ahead and look at some fun things we can do with this. So here we go. Alright, so I've come into a little road bump. As you can see here, here's someone playing uh, cutting the rope with their uh, hands in motion on their computer. Now, I actually am unable to do that. If we go back here to the Leap Motion website, I've gone ahead and looked, and this is my fault. Uh, I looked at the Leap Motion here, and it says gesture motion for PC and Mac, uh, and I went into the description and it just said for PC and Mac and it basically said it'll work on pretty much any system but then when you look in the fine print and stuff and I think they might be adding it in more it's only for Windows 7 and 8 so far Windows Vista they're not letting me do things here in the store there's lots of things as we saw cut the rope so I'm playing you can get these apps you can get New York Times where you can flip through the paper every day make it real easy to read the paper on a screen without ha having to deal with the newspaper uh, you can get all types of apps and games as you see here. The problem is it shows Windows and Mac and I, I'm not able to click on either one to get the app because right here it shows Windows 7 Plus and I only have Windows Vista. So if you have Windows Vista or earlier this will not work for you at least for the time being. Um, it will work with 7 and 8 but it does not work with Windows Vista. We have some bad reviews on Amazon here. There's lots of bad reviews. Um, great paperweight, didn't get it, nearly useless. Lots of people are saying bad things, useless, returned after a week. Lots of people are saying bad things, and I'm pretty sure those people even have Windows 7 or 8, so I don't know uh, what they're saying bad about it. Let's go ahead and uh, check out one more person using it. YouTube, uh, not YouTube, Leap Motion in Use Game. We're going to have to wait for this ad to skip, and we'll see, I mean, people, I've seen them being used, and they look kind of cool, and actually, it, sh it uh, cupped my hand pretty good. So this kid right here is playing a, a game with a, a gun here, let's see if we can get anything going on, and he's controlling it there with his hand, and it looks like, looks like he can control it pretty darn good for, uh, for using his hand, so it looks pretty cool, it looks pretty fun, I'm disappointed I can't use it. Um, so my review of the Leap Motion, that's about as far as I can go. Like I said, I wish I could do more. I might try to get this more in the future. Maybe they'll get it on Windows Vista. Maybe I'll just do a giveaway for this item, or maybe I'll send it back uh, for a refund. My fault for not really looking into it. I bought this really quickly because I was like, oh, that's really cool. I want to test it out. So I bought it really quickly. Now what's weird is it does work on Windows Vista. It is working. Uh, it's just I can't get anything from their app store because it won't let me download it. It's, it's only for Windows 7 and 8. So the weird thing is it does work on Vista. It is working. However, they won't let me do anything with it other than this uh, demonstration screens that they have. So uh, that's that for now. I'll try to get to you guys a little bit more information in the future, but hope you guys got to see what it does. If you have Windows 7 or higher, go ahead and check it out. See if you like it. 
Um, what's great about Amazon is you can always send stuff back if it doesn't work how you want it to or if it doesn't work how they say it's going to work. So um, try it out if you want. I think it's pretty cool. I wish I could do more with it. Um, but if you guys have any questions, let me know. I'll try to help you out. And uh, that's the Leap Motion. We'll see you guys later.